Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm continuing the discussions on uh, deductions from GTI. Last two videos I have explained you what are the deductions from gross total income. So the main deduction in the last video I have explained you from ATC to ATU. So many deductions are there. So in the last video, I have explained you about ATC and also provident fund. What are the different types of provident fund and what are the rules regarding the deduction for provident fund employees contribution to PF. Now in this video, I'm going to explain you about the deduction under section ATC, ATD and ATDD. So three directions I am going to explain you watch the video till the end so before starting the discussion take a uh, screenshot of the notes which I have written on the board so that you can have a permanent copy of this just before examination you can revise and be confident of the subject of income tax take a screenshot then I'll explain Come on, first of all, calculation of deduction amount for ATC. From the assessment year 2006-2007 onwards, ATC has been revised with some changes as follows. Actually, this deduction of ATC is available since a long back. But from 2006 and 7 onwards, some changes are made regarding the deduction under section ATC. As per ATC CE, the deduction is linked with uh, section 80 CCC and 80 CCD. That means these three uh, I mean, sections have been included from 2006-2007. Before 2006-2007, only one deduction was there, 80 C. Then from 2006-2007, new sections have been added. So section 80 CCE says that 80 C should be linked with 80 CCC and ATCCD. The aggregate amount of deduction under section ATC, ATCCC and ATCCD shall not exceed 150,000. A limit has been imposed that the total deduction under section ATC, ATCCC, ATCCD should not be more than 150,000. So ATC is regarding qualified saving. ATCCC is regarding payment for pension fund. And ADCCD is regarding payment to new pension fund for government employees. So these three are related, linked. If an SSC is having deduction under section ATCCC and ADCCD, in such a case, the deduction under section ADC is limited up to rupees 1,50,000. That's all. So these are the provisions regarding qualified savings in the last video I have explained in detail regarding what are the qualified savings for deduction under section ADC. Now next is a deduction very important deduction very frequently it come in problems that is deduction under section ADD medical insurance premium. So sometimes an SSC will take medical insurance policy on his own life or on the life of a spouse or on children or on parents then income tax act says deduction will be allowed under section 80d for medical insurance premium so what are the rules regarding this 80d see carefully premium paid on medical insurance scheme framed by general insurance corporation of india in india we have gic General Insurance Corporation of India. This GIC will issue medical insurance policies. So anybody can take this policy, medical insurance policy or any other insurer qualifies for deduction. If it is paid through check or draft, that is premium paid in cash is not eligible for deduction. First condition you remember, medical insurance premium should be paid either in through check or draft if it is paid in cash not allowed as reduction first condition premium paid for parents is also allowed as reduction but for children if they are dependent condition you see remember 
for parents medical insurance premium paid for parents medical life medical health that is fully allowed but for children if the children are dependent on the SSC then medical insurance premium paid on the children health will also be eligible from the assessment year 2013-14 onwards expenses paid for preventive medical checkup preventive health checkup is also eligible for deduction of true rupees 5000 before uh, so before the year 2013-14 only one deduction was there that is medical insurance premium paid but 2013-14 onwards preventive health checkup this uh, uh, that means ssc has incurred the amount on preventive medical checkup then also it is eligible for deduction under section 80d but up to rupees 5000 5000 for preventive health checkup the premium is paid in cash it can be allowed as deduction for preventive health checkup even if it is paid in cash it will be allowed but for insurance premium paid medical insurance premium paid it should be only through check or draft cash not allowed preventive health checkup cash also allowed for preventive health checkup deduction cannot exceed rupees 5000 limit is given for preventive health checkup the limit is only 5000 not more than 5000 then deduction under section 80d for both medical insurance and preventive health checkup expenses should be limited up to 25000 and 50000 the maximum limit of medical insurance premium and preventive health checkup the combined together should not exceed the limit of 25000 and 50000 when 25000 when 50000 i'll explain it here deduction <coughs> own spouse dependent children or parents least of the following two actual amount paid or 25000 so medical insurance premium paid on the own health on the own life or spouse or children or parent dependent children or parents in that case the total amount should not exceed 25000 the so actual amount paid or 25000 whichever is least that will be allowed secondly if the medical claim policy is for senior citizen or super senior citizen suppose if the parents are senior citizen or super senior citizen in that case medical claim policy is taken in that case the limit is extended up to 50000 so if up to 50000 if there is <coughs> if uh, there is <coughs> senior citizen or super senior citizen then limit is 50000 if there is no super senior or senior citizen limit is 25000 so these are the points you have to remember for deduction under section 80d medical insurance premium paid and preventive health checkup for the own life of the SSC or spouse or dependent children or parents. That's it. Now next is section 80 DD. Another important deduction. This deduction is regarding deduction in respect of medical treatment and maintenance of dependent. Wording. Stress on the wording. Medical deduction in respect of medical treatment and maintenance. Two words are there. Medical treatment and maintenance of dependent who is a person with disability in the family suppose a person is uh, physically or mentally retarded disabled on the disabled person the SSC has incurred some expenditure or deposited some money maintenance money the deduction will be allowed under section 80 D D so what are the provisions so see here if the SSC incurred expenditure on the medical treatment of a person suffering from permanent physical disability including blindness or mental retardation or the SSC has paid or deposited under any scheme framed by LIC or UTI or any other insurer for maintenance of such handicapped person on satisfying the following conditions. See, if the SSC's family there is any person who is dependent on the SSC and the person is suffering from some mental retardation or physically handicapped including blindness and the SSC has incurred medical expenditure on him or her and also 
some amount is deposited for the maintenance of such disabled person with the scheme framed by UTI or LIC or other insurers on satisfying some conditions then deduction will be allowed under section 80 DD what are the conditions the person suffering from such a disablement must be a relative of the individual and wholly dependent on the CC first condition the person on whom the expenditure is incurred that person should be a relative to the SSC and also dependent on the SSC. First condition. Second, the person's the permanent disability or mental retardation has to be certified by a physician, surgeon, or psychiatrist who is attached with the government hospital. That means the doctor, physician, surgeon, or psychiatrist should certify that this person is disabled. The person is disabled, that certification should be given by the doctor of government hospital. Then only direction will be up. So two conditions. First condition, the person should be a relative and dependent on the SSC. Secondly, the disability should be certified by a doctor, physician, surgeon or psychiatrist attached to a government hospital. If these two conditions are satisfied, then deduction under section 80 DD will be allowed. The deduction is available if the SSC incurred any expenditure on medical treatment or amount deposited under any approved scheme of LIC, UTI or other insurance company. So two, uh, I mean deductions are given only when uh, any of these two conditions are satisfied. First one, the SSC should have incurred some expenditure, medical expenditure on that dependent, on that disabled dis dependent, medical treatment expenditure. If he has not incurred medical expenditure, incurred uh, incur not medical expenditure, then the SSC should have deposited some amount in a scheme framed by LIC, UTI or other insurers for that handicapped maintenance purpose. The amount deposited or medical expenditure incurred. If any of these two happens, then the deduction is available under section 80 DD. The amount of deduction, normal disability with less than 80%, 75,000 75, rupees is allowed. Amount is fixed by the income tax department, income tax rules. 75,000 rupees a deduction will be allowed under section 80 DD if the person is 80% or less is disabled. Disability is up to 80%, then 75,000. <coughs> Severe disability. Normal disability means up to 80% disabled. Severe disability means more than 80% disabled. More than 80% disabled. In that case, the deduction will be 1,25,000. So two amounts you have to remember. 75,000 for normal disability. 1,25,000 for severe disability. Normal disability means up to 80% disabled. And severe disability means more than 80% disabled. Actual amount spent or deposited are not to be considered. How much amount he has incurred on medical treatment? How much amount he has deposited in UTI or LIC in that scheme? That amount should not be considered. Fixed amount deduction will be given. And dependent person means spouse, children, parents, brother or sister. Income Tax Act has given the meaning of the term relative. Relative means the spouse of the SSC, children of the SSC, parent of the SSC or brother or sister. But this relative person should be dependent on the SSC. Then only deduction will be allowed. Lastly, this deduction is not allowed if the residential status of the SSC is non-resident. That means this provision of 80 DD is available only for resident SSCs. For non-resident SSCs, deduction under section 80 DD will not be allowed. That's it. So in this video, I have explained you about 80 C, 80 D and 80 DD. The next deduction, inshallah, will continue in the next video.